All right, that's a scene out of The Queen's Gambit, a movie that inspired a whole lot of women, apparently, to take up chess. Now the world's top chess federation is taking a step they say is meant to protect women who play the game. They say they're banning transgender, transgender women from competing in women's events, period, until officials can conduct further studies about the effects gender has on the game. Let's bring in Fox News contributor Tyrus. This is not, interestingly, a hypothetical question for the Chess Federation. They say that they're getting more and more requests from trans players well, to I, join in women's games. I think that we're seeing a growing trend where there's, there's so much attention and success given for transgender women when they cross over to women's sports. So that's, I, I commend them for saying, hold on, we're going to, we're going to check this out and we're going to take our time with this. I think that's great uh, because you could make the argument, well, chess is a mental game and you, you can't, you're not going to sit here and say men are smarter than women or whatever. But it, chess is a game. It's a strategy and it depends how long you've been in it. And for a long time, it was predominantly when I was in chess club in high school, it was all boys, you know, so it just wasn't something that women were necessarily into. Now we're seeing a trend. My daughter is nine and we play chess every weekend. Like she really loves the game and hates to lose. So uh, she I'm, beats you mostly, I'm guessing. We play about five or six times, and then eventually I uh, I got things to do, so I got to take the L. <laughs> I love that you team. said she hates to lose. She hates to lose. You so she hates, and I'm teaching her because chess is like you think two stop, you think two plays ahead, and that's what uh -huh. they're doing with this. They're taking their time with it because we're, this trend has to stop. But there but is a place Tyrus, for transgender women, but it's not in women's. This sports. decision came out of Azerbaijan. I didn't come out of Atlanta. No. And it, it seems that it's really an issue for the United States much more than other places around the world. Well, because we're seeing all the, again, it goes back to why is the, why is the leap? Why do you need to leap? If it's about the competition and it has nothing to do with physicality, there's no reason to leave. Uh, I would think a transgendered woman winning in the men's division would be just as powerful, if not more, it would say more about equality than having to hop over to the women's division. That would be my, why. There's no reason to. Only reason we're seeing is we're seeing basically mediocre biological men, then they transition, and all of a sudden they become star athletes when they go switch over to women's sports. So I, I'm, I commend but them for the way they've really doing thought it. about this. If you're a, a title holder and you change your gender back, you would get reinstated. If you don't, all, all your previous titles would be abolished. I mean, they've really gone down the rabbit hole and, in a lot but, of this. But good for them, because that's instead of just making snap judgments mm. for the PC or for the for the mob, uh -huh. they're taking their time with it. And they didn't say no. They said we're going to research it. It'll probably take about two years. So, <laughs> and, and I love that. And I think everyone should have that across the board. Women's sports should take about I don't know 15 years to research it, get a good base, and then come back with a formula. Until then. We're going to biological stay in their own areas while we mm. sort uh, out. Uh, we have one more topic. Got to make it quick, though. Apparently, there's a study done on etiquette on an airplane, whether or not you should lower your seat, whether that was the proper thing to do or not. You fly a lot. You're a big dude. Listen, I, the more adequate would be everyone has to wear sleeves. I think that's more important than whether the seat goes back oh. or not. <laughs> and socks. See, yes, thank you. See? But I, as, as being 6'8", in first class, if someone puts, I always tell them pre-flight before we take off, you're not going to be able to come back. Otherwise, you're going to have two really big knees in your back, and I don't know how comfortable it's going to be for you. So out of respect, I don't lean back either. I don't think there's no reason for leaning back. Stay in first class. Save the leaning back for the, for the yeah. rap songs. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Tyrus. Have Thank a great you. weekend. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.